tumultuous time is because it actually is a time for discussion of first principles. And it's Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody, to RVC. This is RVC Rashid's video, too. In conjunction with RMJC, <coughs> excuse me, Rashid's Music Jukebox Center. And I am Rashid, the R Man, coming on live on social media platforms. You hears, I am glad you are. How about that? I'm glad you guys are here. It may sound like I read that, I say that backwards, but I didn't. I gave you some brain candy. Hope you don't mind. Hot. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be the last day of this heat wave, so they say, which is a good thing. And uh, hopefully, I never come to fuck back. And uh, nonetheless, welcome to another Rashi's uh, picture up serial style. Again. I was going to do a uh, Rashid uh, colony, but I think it, it doesn't call for that. It really doesn't. I think we need this. I really do. They're dutiful and orderly, and they're low in openness. And that makes them really good managers and administrators, administrators and often businessmen, but not very good entrepreneurs. Because the entrepreneurs are almost all drawn from the liberal types. I'm watching this psychological uh, documentary. It's called The Glitch in the Matrix. They believe that the Matrix is, this, is real. There's a lot of people that, that really take these Hollywood movies to the level and believe that some of these Hollywood movies are reality, and The Matrix is one of them. They just think it's a real movie, like uh, Eyes Wide Shut. That's another cult classic that they think is real in this society that we live in. What are your thoughts? Needless to say, to each his own, I love indulging in everything. Right, sweetie? Because it's fun for us, you know, to be able to understand other people's viewpoint on the world's front. It's very like fascinating to see other people, though hear, to hear, and see, in some cases, other people's uh, intake on life in general. And they believe they 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 really are really complex in their intelligence, trying to dictate what they believe on the air. They try to do the best they can, and they just it's hard to believe or even contemplate some of the shit. But you can't help but give them credit. The world is full of loons. These guys, well, I'm not even going to go there. The world is just full of loons, man, with different philosophies. and Even us around here, RVT. And with that in mind, I'm going to talk about this show. Uh, I have to, we have to go out tomorrow, so I'm not going to do it now. But you guys are, are going to be really surprised about this show that's coming up. It's a real treat for you guys, and I think it's deserved because I do believe that this summer Shison has been a year of testing. It's been a summer of testing to the max. I mean, we're getting, uh, uh, personally, I'm getting tested on all fronts, dude. All around, I'm getting tested. And uh, so far, we're still standing. I know it's a reason for it, but you know, your test, uh, you have to play out your test until you find out the reason later on. Usually it's some kind of, uh, not necessarily a lesson, 
for an educational experience of why you went through what you went through. It's like, what have you learned? I do believe it's like that, but I'm not going to say that it's, uh, you know, this, that, and the other. I'm not going to say that because I, I think positive about it. But never in a million years did I think our shyster was going to be this way. And the thing is, we got two months left of it. Two months left. And then that's it. Then it's like, you know, it's all over. And it's just, uh, this been a hell of a shyster, man. You know, it's been a hell of a shyster. And I really, I, we didn't even get any, like, All uh, uh, syndications, RBT syndications, up because we've been so busy on appointments. So I'm not going to get into that. This is the serial picture up, and it's supposed to be a time of thinking good thoughts, and I'm not going to spoil it. We're talking about uh, aspects of. Our viewership. I'm just not going to do it. Let's just stick to serial and uh, fun talking shit. How about that? Getting our mind off things. Because this weather has been really abnormal. And around here, again, we believe this is the Great Tribulation. And it goes under, yeah, there will be great signs from heaven. You know, when you talk about stuff like that, today's people today, they don't see heaven the same as if the time the Bible was written. Like if this hot weather like this was in, when the Bible was written, they would say, wow, the heavens are really shining down this scorcher. On us, you know, they they look to things like that. But today, when you say, All right, there'll be signs from the great, there'll be signs from heaven. There'll be great signs from heaven of one of the prophecies of the um, great tribulation. The every person will think the sky, and we think about heaven. So they say, oh, the great signs of heaven could be anything, and you know, this or that, or. But it all go for us. It goes under. Uh, there'll be signs, great signs from heaven. Today is Sunday, and I hope everybody uh, went to worship, or even looked at something that was spiritual. I really do hope you did that, because it, I feel as though that's what we need, guys, more than anything else in the world. You know. And I really hope you look to something spiritual. It really will make the difference. It really will. The days are just going by like a bowl of cereal on your screen. Some cereal is meant to get eaten, eaten fast. Yeah, like that fucking uh, strawberry rice krispies. Once you take two spoons, take, take two spoonfuls of it, that strawberry, the, the cereal gone, for Christ's sake. Some cereals just disappear fast in your bowl. Some cereal, like grape nuts, live a fucking lifetime. You, you Mr. Ed, eating that shit. Hello, I'm Mr. Ed. And you're chewing like a goddamn horse eating that grape nut shit. And uh, the Andy Griffith Show did a commercial about grape nuts. You see? And uh, in Mayberry, they eat grape nuts. They used to, anyway. Who could honestly eat? I remember the last time we had great nuts, sweet. The cereal great nuts. I swear to God, I dumped it with sugar on it. Because I thought 
that that will help. So I'm eating the great nuts full of sugar, and it still didn't help. It, it, was, it was still didn't fucking. But you have to admit the cereal is just so damn good. Granola cereal has got to be one of the best cereal out there, granola cereal. But it's so hard to get. It's so hard to get a good box of granola cereal. They don't want us to have shit. And granola cereal is one of the best cereals on the market. But it's extremely hard to get, man. A good box. I ain't talking about just any ordinary box. A good box of granola cereal is just so difficult to find, you know. I think the last, the the good box we had was brown. The box was brown. I forgot the name of who made it. Maybe it was quick. I don't know. But that was the last time we had a good granola cereal. And maybe that cereal is still out. I don't know. We just going to the wrong supermarket, I guess. It's hard to find a good box of granola cereal. That's the ultimate snack is granola. The ultimate fucking snack. Got to be granola. And, and it's just so fucking good for you. It's so healthy. It's one of the things you can eat this, that you can be really confident that you're getting good nutrition. And it just tastes so fucking good. You know. It's granola. Absolutely an amazing cereal. It's a miracle cereal. Granola is. But that great nuts motherfucking shit there, that's that's some chewing ass shit there, and that's some man, you I don't know. You got motherfuckers eat with dentures in their mouth eating that shit. You 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 bold if you got dentures eating that shit. That's some hard cereal there, but it's but it is good. It's not a not it's not a nasty cereal. It's a good cereal. But when they say nuts, they wasn't shitting when they made that. It is nuts. It's, it's actually nuts. And you chewing just like they are. They, they're fucking shit. You're eating nuts. Great nuts. Like if you get a grape and you eat the nuts, imagine a bunch of them nuts. It's like that almost, you know. Don't know if that's what they meant by great nuts. I'm not saying that's what they meant. But. You know, when you buy a, 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 a grape... Not the grain grape, but the cherry or whatever, and it comes with a nut inside. Yeah, that's why they call them grape nuts. What if they were the real grape nuts? What if they was? The, I don't know. I never looked at them because I don't. Yeah. But that will be interesting to see that, or no, for that, for the, for that matter, that they they're real grape nuts. They do taste like it a little bit, but then again, they don't taste like it. Bring back granola cereal, too. Man, the grape nut thing is fine, but bring it. See, they they pile a shelf with grape nuts, but they won't pile a shelf with granola, you know? It's hard to find good wheat germ cereal, you know? With some cold milk, banana, and sugar on it. Really good stuff, man. Really, really good stuff. A piece of tissue all on me. I'm glad you guys come here listening to me. You know, it means a lot. I wasn't going to come on the air. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I really, really wasn't going to come on the air. We wasn't. But we figured, I figured, you know... Yeah, what the fuck? Because it's Sunday, and it's like, you know, it's a family day. And then we listen to it, it's a, it's a family, so it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter. So, I don't know. I 
a fish called Wanda. Remember a fish called Wanda? I remember that. That was a really good surprising movie though. It was. It was. You sat down and watched it. And it was like, this is really good. <laughs> A fish called Wanda. Yeah. This is not bad at all. Most Hollywood movies, if you... Some, no, I ain't gonna say most because I'm drifting off in thought. But, um... Some Hollywood movies, if you give them a chance, you will see they're not that bad. Sometimes the name and the actors or actresses in them makes for bitter, bitter uh, interest in viewing them. You see, I don't want to view it because it, I don't like the name of it. Well, but some of that shit, if you watch it, it's pretty damn good. So I mess with some YouTubers, guys. Y'all know Rashid, y'all friend, and I'm talking to y'all Rashid B's out there. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all Rashid got tears. And y'all know Rashid gonna be a prick. Why do I fuck with some YouTubers on the, um, the comments? Why do I fucking do that? Why not? I don't fucking know, man. I know people don't want to hear from me. And I comment under the fucker thing. Why do I fucking do that? I don't... I don't understand it. Why do I do that? I just don't... I don't care. I don't care. I should care. I really should care. Been a gluttony eating a box of cereal and shit. Gluttoning, it's called gluttoning. I swear to God, you know, like, you can't help it sometimes. Some of the cereal is just so damn good. You wind up eating the whole damn box. Like Captain Crunch, Crunch Berries, Tricks, the Flintstone cereal. You just can't eat a normal small bowl of these cereals. You just can't do it. You try it though. <clears throat> you get credit because you do try. It's not funny, you know. But you get credit because this it's better than not trying at all. But you try to eat, like, some people say, Rashid, I know y'all saying, Rashid, that's a fucker, I don't try shit. I eat the whole damn fucker box, dude. 
a whole box, and I don't give a Welcome damn. Welcome to the 24-hour home shopping channel where shit just got real fuck's sake. One second I'm watching Fargo season two, now I'm keen on this story. I believe this is Sammy up the front, we got bloody Deborah at the back there, and look, they just want us to buy some Vasella Vita Italian shopware. Look at those dimensions and shit, man. Oh, what the hell? There's something very down to earth, very sobering about women in spandex. Oh, Sammy's rocking the purple look now. Still no fucking pants required. Oh, she's spinning? Nah, she's stopping. Yeah, nah, she is spinning. Now it's time for some elderly woman to touch her boobs and playfully tease and no one at all. No. The is no. I'm just not in a mood for, uh... That type shit, you know. I got stuff I want to say too, you know. I'm not being rude to anything, mind you. Mind you. But I got stuff I want to say too. You know. Is that so hard? That's not... Too difficult to um, understand. When you get people like they come to some YouTubers and I, I feel how they doing their shit. I feel it, but I'm not. I'm just not in the mood. You know, maybe next time. It's a fast talker thing and stuff, shit like that. I, this is what God wants. It's not what we want. It's what God wants. Baby, it's not funny. It's it's really not funny. It's it's what the Lord wants. You know. We have to. Under, we as spiritual people have to understand that. That sometimes we may find selfishness in our thinking. But if we do what the war, the Lord want us to do then it's really not that bad death is an occurrence that each man deems unnatural when related to you know it's not that bad what have you done to my car it's not that bad y'all it's not that bad all state guarantees it will Guarantees? When you choose one of our recommended shops, we'll give you our car repair guarantee, and we'll give it to you in writing. We guarantee the work will meet industry standards for as long as you own your car. It looks fixed, but how do we know it's fixed to right? I've got it in writing. Good. <laughs> You're in good hands with Allstate. And that's a promise from us, the good hands people. Saturday, the Love Boat sails early as Doc bet he can give up women. It's a 90-minute special at 8, 7 Central and Month. Then in Margaret, Hollywood movie girls, with George Burns, Dom Deloey, Taxi Danny DeVito, and Roger Moore. The right. This is a test track and a test of a remarkable machine. It uses a fuel-efficient Honda four-stroke engine and automatic decompression for easy starts. It has a unique oil pump that improves lubrication and many other advanced features. The Honda Rotary Mower. Think of it, a lawnmower engineered by Honda. For your nearest Honda dealer, call 800-648-5311. They say that every song instrumental on a TV show. Now get this. They say every song is instrumental on a TV show. Like take All in the Family with Archie Bunker. They said that it's words to every song. Could you imagine listening to words to the the things for Arch, the, uh, All in the Family? 
Could you imagine listening to that song with words and lyrics? Could you imagine, too? Could you imagine, like, I'm, pour, I'm eating some cream of wheat, guys. Please forgive me. You need some cream of wheat. You see, you better be in some air conditioning. Jesus. Cereal, yeah. cereal, man. I think it's called Farina. It's called Farina, right, sweetie? Well, where I'm from is Queen of Wheat. Fucking on Serena, Farina shit. So, Queen of Wheat. And, they say there's words to every song. Vibes of Israel narrow play. Songs to make the hip away. Guys like us, we had it made. Go to the. That fucking dun 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 That's words to that song. Just like the beginning song. You notice that the end song is different than the beginning? Maybe it's not, but I think so. By the way, Mark Miller played. Who name did he say the beginning? By the way, who played? He said Mac Miller or somebody. I don't know. Mac Miller's a black guy, for Christ's sake. Maybe he's a black guy. I don't know. He said, by the way, somebody played. And then she said, songs that made the hit parade. Guys like us, we had them. Ain't no parade no more. Unless you go to, like... Dollywood, like that way, Mississippi, Kansas City, or some shit like that. What do you call that uh, place? Nashville. Nashville. Go to Nashville. They, I'm sure they still have parades. That's a Dolly Parton and Taylor Swift shit. Go there. They got, they still got parades there. But theoretically, ain't no more parades anymore. But Nashville, I think Nashville. That's what I'm saying. Nashville still have them. I think. I think Nashville still do parades. Yeah. Songs that made the hit parade. Guys like us, we had it made. The motherfucking days. Mm. Taylor Swift is a cat now. This is a new movie called Cats coming out. And she up in it. She a cat. They finally made a movie on oh, Cats, a movie. Good. Because I never saw the play and I always wanted to see the play. We didn't. We always wanted to see the play. Never got to saw it, see it. But I always was wondering what it's about. What what kind of movie has cats in it that could be good? Cats. You know, what kind of play is that? that what, what the fuck? But now we get to see it because now it's a movie. And there's all, a lot of celebrities in it. Taylor Swift in it. Um, and a lot of other people in it. A lot of other celebrities in it. That's the only name stuck out with me. I can't remember who else, though. Um, a lot of people, a lot of uh, celebrities in this movie called Cats. And, uh, it's coming out. Well, by Christmas, they say, or Thanksgiving. That's good. That's good. That's good. It should be good. Would you do Taylor Swift in a cat uniform? In many ways. With an Olympus Telephoto lens, you can get in this type. With a wide-angle lens on your OM-10, you can see all of me. I wouldn't. Girl! What's 
better way to make your own weekend a little more special than the smooth and mellow taste of Michelob. This is just perfect. The Michelob. The whole weekend. Weekends were made for Michelob. Yeah. When is your vacation? Some jingle on commercials are just so heartwarming. I know, and good, like that one. I like the Christmas version of that one. It reminds me of Jim Jones, because they all killed their son. It, it reminds me of Jim Jones, you know, like. Budget ready car. There are many companies in the Trans America family, and they all stand for just one thing. First rate service. One day, I'm going to show them, I'm going to show these people what we're talking about. When we say stuff like that, because I, I feel as though right now, they don't understand what we're talking about. And I say that. They get the wrong idea. But I'll show I'll show you guys later. You guys at the same time, and I'm fucking this queen of we up, boy, like he's a white woman, and mm. well, sweet, now you know what I mean. Mm, yeah, it's good. Real good. Y'all think I'm a nice person? Do you think that God thinks I'm a nice person? Hmm? And why come my views suck on YouTube? I ain't that nice. Here you go. why nobody like me. It's morning time. Well, it's a late morning. Where are we at? Mm. We try to listen to... Oh, never mind. I know. Post 
It's all about respect, you know. Saturday, the love boat sails early as Doc bet he can give up women. It's a 90-minute special at 8, 7 Central and Monday. Then Ann Margaret, Hollywood movie girls, with George Burns, Dom Deloey, Zachary Danny DeVito, and Roger Moore. Good night. Don DeLuise did, George Burns did, 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 did. Hey, everybody, everybody fucking did on these commercials, everybody did. California Dental Service helps to pay. It's important. It's a smile. California Dental Service. Ask me a question. Ask me a question. That Taylor Swift um, camp movie that's coming out. I got a question. I forgot what it was. You got the Lion King, the Negro Lion King coming out. Now you got the white people cats movie coming out. The fuck is going on in the neighborhood, dude? Everybody wants to be a cat now, right? In the United States of America. United States of America, everybody wants to be a cat. Okay. See what I'm talking about? And then he's going to sit back and hate Rashid. See what I'm talking about? Everybody wants to be a cat now. First, the Lion King shit. And I do mean shit. Now, the cats will be coming out. Nobody want to be people no more? <sighs> Nobody wants to be human beings no more. I guess it do suck, you know, being a person. You know. Stop. Anybody wants to be cats? Beyonce and Taylor Swift are cats now. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Beyonce and Taylor Swift are cats. The whole United States of America is going cat crazy. And the question is, why? See, that's the big question about it, is why. it got to be some kind of philosophic, mental, as deep-hitting aspiration of why people in America want to be cats. I'm John, I'm John Radish. I'm Alex Bokov. I'm Susie Orlando, and this is 60 Minutes. <laughs> Today, why do the United States of America want to be cats? It's the Waco Kid, that Monroe Radio Medic. Right, good, good, read this. After 60 days, you 
go to A3-4 Radio Manage gives you the best ride ever. Monroe will replace them at no charge with any comparably priced shock. Sold me. You want to put them on your car, kid? Yeah. What's the car? No, that's what you're wrong. When Bill Clinton was president, they wanted to be dogs. That's when that Snoop Dogg was out. That was when Bill Clinton was president. They wanted to be dogs. Now, they want to be cats. New house discount on homeowner's insurance. That can help. It's our biggest new house discount ever. Your house is less than two years old, so you'll save 15%. I'll buy it. For a good deal on homeowner's insurance, you're in good hands with Allstate. And that's a promise from me, Sam Sprott. Introducing a steel-belted radio so new, even its footprint tells you it's different. Today, you need a tire that gives you fuel economy and all-season performance. Wet, dry traction and long tread life. Hydroplaning resistance and dry road stability. Arriba. So new, even its footprint tells you. Well, you eat some cream of wheat. <clears throat> and then... Drink some cold fucking water from out the freezer and in hot weather, then you experience what an orgasm feels like. On ABC's World News Tonight and the last word in television news, Nightline. ABC News bringing the world closer to you. Smaller cars are the toughest on the Even though you don't understand why the world want to be cats, we don't understand it. The spot, Captain. Why do the world wants to be cats? Spot. It's not logical. No, it's not spot. It's not. It really isn't spot. In this world, anybody can be anybody they want to be, even if it's cats. And even if it's cats or whatever. But that Lion King, you know, what? that's not nothing to play around upon. I don't think kids should watch that one. Dude. If they made, I was thinking, that part when Scar had his dad on the edge of the cliff with his paws on top of his paws, he great die. If they made his expression mean or angry, it wouldn't be that bad. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be that bad. But the way they put it with him, his fake expression, really frightening, frightful. You know, just be careful with that Lion King movie, dude, because they realize they, they realize that shit. And just be careful, because I don't think kids should see that, man. I swear, they shouldn't see that. I swear they shouldn't see that. It's not a movie the kids, I don't think kids are, I don't, and then after the, the end of the movie, the the nephew is fighting the uncle like that. I know they realize, realize that shit to some vicious, and you think, and when I watched the cartoon, when we watched the cartoon, I was thinking, <clears throat> it's a good fight, but they relatives, you know, you can't help but think like that. You can't help it. But they're still relatives, and they're fighting like that. So I know the real action and adventure. I don't think that movie is for kids. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. That's what I think about it. Don't care. Mr. Barry? With an American Express assured reservation. We've been waiting for you. Please. You're worth waiting for at Marriott Hotels. The American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Come get in. Something to drink. Oh. After he kills his uncle, then he becomes king of the jungle. No, no, that's no positive message for a child. It's a premium brew that's in a glass by itself. What extraordinary taste. Come get in, how can we repay you? Well, Sahib, I do take all major credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> they could have at least made the, the enemy lion of another herd, of another part of the jungle or something like that. They ain't had to make a family do it. That's an that's a, that's a image in people's head. You know what I'm saying? It's not, I just don't think it's cool. It's not just you you're working for, it's having people count on you. And 
his own fucking brother jealous of him. His own brother. No, that's not a positive message. It's a, it's a bad storyline, and I just dislike the whole fucking thing. I don't like none of it. The two mama tama means no worries and shit. All that negative bullshit. I can't stand it. Two mama tama means no worries. What kind of shit is this? Very negative. Very negative. Mm. Nothing positive about it. Nothing. But then they turned the little mermaid to a black woman. And all of these things that, you know, it's. Mm. Uh, oh well. At least we got cereal on the screen. And uh, that Queen of Wheat was very good. It was very delightful uh, taste. A new Volkswagen pickup is built like a truck. Yeah, but from zero to 50, it's faster than this empty. It comes from fuel injection. Did we put that in anything? Anything? Y'all gotta see this um this show I got coming up. You guys gonna really enjoy it. Okay, just hang in there. Just give me a bit. I'm really making it nice because I have the pork that love the pig that likes pork, and I have this one. Um, I'm, I'm, you'll see what I do because I like uh, making. Uh, I guess you can say I'm multitask. I'm a multitasker. Y'all know that. Y'all got the idea. That I'm a multitasker. And uh, I got these shows. I'm working them all. Working. I just like to keep busy. So it's gonna just be a, just a little wee bit. You know. Sandy Hill into the growing rebirth of interest in a tragic three-year-old murder case in Marina del Rey. Fred Anderson talked with hopeful young film stars as they prepared for auditions in a Hollywood movie. And Wayne Sass continued his exclusive report on doctors who give deadly drugs to teenagers. Eyewitness News, interested in the quality of your life. What matters to you matters to us. Saturday night at 8.15, a movie seven special starring Paul Newman. Now don't expect me to get hysterical over the life of one Jewish child and don't you get hysterical either. You're late. Lady, you're ten years late. Almost two million Jewish children were butchered like animals. Because nobody wanted them. Exodus stars Paul Newman, Eva Marie Saint, and Lee J. Cobb. Saturday night at 8.15, a Movie 7 special. This week on the Saturday Night Movie, Paul Newman rips the Iron Curtain. What are you doing here? I don't like him. Listen to me. Now you stay away from me. Don't talk to me. When this plane lands, you take the next one out. Anywhere. Go home. Curtain stars Paul Newman, Julie Andrews, and Lila Kadrova. Saturday night at 11.30 here on Channel 7. Don't y'all wish I had movies like that to watch? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> right. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> and involved with all kinds of worthy causes. But his boyhood, a lot like yours. Dr. George Fishbeck. The Southlands most of... Don't y'all wish I had movies like... Nah, I was just kidding, guys. Actually, I wasn't, but... That's kind of funny, man. I couldn't let that one go. But that's how television used to be. You know, we had things to watch. You know, they had really interesting... Uh, oh, well. Can't have everything. <sighs> now, first they were uh, Panthers. Now, Afro-Americans are Tigers. I mean, Lions. And go watch that. Scrumptious oriental vegetables. Huh? Uh, she hmm. thinks Chunking chicken chow mein tastes better. Of course, Chunking made it. For great oriental food, come to the king, Chunking. Build the temporium, build the temporium. You say, well, she do have some bad fucking taste, you know that? 
Well, look what's going on in the world. Look what happened. Did the white white people take the bait in the world? Did they take it? And everything, uh... Well, you know, it's a hard world we live in, man. And, uh... I knew that was going to, you know. But they took the bait. They took it. White people took their bait, you know. And, uh, there you go. How many times, you know? How many times? How many times? The point should be made soon. I hope it's made soon, because, you know, we don't like looking at it. You know, it's just hard to look at it. The hard, the world is hard, but Jesus, man. God. Some people didn't take the bait, and he all right. As I told you, I ain't take their bait, and some people took the bait. Right now, they, they let's just say they ain't doing too well. Son, something I would like to talk about, but I'm not going to. Because around here, like I said, we stay out of political affairs. And uh, that stuff got to stay out of here. We don't, we're spiritual people and we don't, yeah, we don't deal with that kind of stuff. Because of reasons we just know. We just don't deal with that kind of stuff, you know. We just don't take that kind of stuff. No, we don't take that stuff. We don't follow this. We don't follow the world. And we're never going to follow the world along with its opinions and ideas. We're never going to do it. And we'll go into detail probably on the colony about how we view the how do we view the world? How do we view the shit that you know? And we believe that this is Armageddon. We we believe this great tribulation starting. Because we've been waiting for this forever, and it's like we've been waiting forever and ever and ever, and now it's finally here. Now the thing is, everybody acting like they don't see shit. See, that's the thing that gets to me. Everybody's acting like they don't see a damn thing. We all know what world we came from. Everybody waiting and this, that. Now we see change. Now nobody see nothing. Everybody Stevie fucking wonder. Okay. I remember Glass Plus. Yeah, they don't sell that no more, I don't think. Now, Windex took over. Plus cabinets. Plus plastic. Plus chrome. Plus a whole lot more. Glass Plus. The glass appliance and cabinet cleaner. All in one. You're on the go all day. Don't your legs feel tired? Oh, no. I wear Burlington Support Support Pantyhose. Their compressive strength works on tired muscles, yet they're so sheer. See? Burlington. You look great in clingy clothes. Don't you worry about bulges? No, I wear Burlington Control Top Pantyhose. Over 300 controlling strands hold hips and tummy in. See? Burlington! That's when they had curly hair, you know. That's when things were different. Women were different back then. Where I come from, you know, in a long time, long time, since I've been around normal fucking individuals, not people that, that wants to be lions and uh, cats and stuff like that. I've been around normal. I was ra- I was raised around normal shit. I wasn't raised around this shit. And hair away facial. 
Mother will remove the hair instantly for one full month. Yes, for one full month, because it removes the whole hair. And when hair eventually come in, they are pure and baby soft. Try hair away. Takes only minutes a month for a soft, stubble free skin, and you will notice the difference. Maybe we'll start showing these commercials, too. Eh, why not? But that's a lot of editing. Right now, it ain't shit to do these serial commercials here, but if we did decide to show it, yeah, it would be... Yeah. Eh. That's a point. All right, let's get out. You want to get out of here? Okay. Uh, we're about to get out of here. We got things to do, guys. I wanted to come on just for a time to spend with us. And uh, maybe I'll do some comedy next time. I don't know. We'll see. But um, stay cool and uh, take care. <laughs>